People think of New Jersey as being urban and metropolitan. We're in New Jersey here and look at this. Today on Backwoods Angler TV, we are bass fishing in New Jersey. Ah. And you've got a, almost a southern bass fishing feel here. Chris Smith is a regional biologist for the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife. Chris is also an accomplished tournament angler. I'm a professional, just not that everyone. Hey! Today he's going to show us a few different techniques on the Salem Canal and Lake Opatcong. Sometimes you have oh, to baby. dig this them is, out. This is fish and cover, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Skipping soft plastics under the bridge. Today on Backwoods Angler TV, we take you to New Jersey. It's the Garden State, and it's bass fishing. Stay tuned. That's a good fish. <laughs> wow. Brought to you by Case Plastics, makers of the Sinkin' Salty Shad. This is the Salem River. Um, it's, it's actually a dammed up section of the Salem River. What they actually did, um, probably 50 years ago, they actually, uh, in order to uh, reduce the distance uh, for shipping produce to Philly, yeah. they actually cut a canal between the Salem River to the Delaware River, thus the name Salem Canal. Uh, they also, it used to be called the Deepwater Canal. Okay. So a lot of people call it the Salem River, some people call it the Salem Canal, um, but it, it looks just like all of our tidal rivers down in the, in the lower section of the Delaware River, um, except it's non-tidal. Well, I'll tell you what, we're, we're not even, what, 150 yards from that highway. <laughs> we'll get it back in here. Once you get up the canal a couple miles, you, you know, you really feel like you're out, out in the middle of nowhere. What's your, what's your primary pattern for summertime in this place? You know, most of the time the, the fish, because it's a very shallow water body, the, the water depth's a maximum depth of about seven to eight feet, even under the bridges. There's a couple bridge crossings. Uh, some of our outside bends uh, have about seven or eight feet of water in them. So these fish actually, you know, they will target those deeper areas. Uh, stay a little bit cooler during the summer. Um, usually the uh, outside bends of the, of the old creek channel uh, targeting the big trees, big, you know, lay down trees and stuff. There's enough structure in here for... Yeah, there's... If you like to, uh, if you fish. Like to fish structure, this is, this this is, is the place yeah. to fish. That one was on jig. Small fish, but... Little keeper. Chris, you just mentioned it. it this, this is a lot like, I mean, we're in, we're in Jersey, a stone's throw away from, from Wilmington and Philadelphia, and, and you've got a, almost a southern bass fishing feel here. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, it really has that, you know, that Louisiana, uh, Mississippi type feel, uh, real marshy, marshy banks some stained water. Out of us nor'easters, we don't even realize this kind of stuff exists here. You, you just, most of us don't even know it's here. Oh yeah, I mean we, we really do have some, uh, some really diverse fisheries in, in, you know, in our state. Uh, you know, you have the, a lot of your clear, uh, deeper, rockier uh, waters in North Jersey and uh, we have a lot of sand ponds down in South Jersey, uh, but we have a lot of these, you know, these tidal, tidal areas with some stained water and you know, it makes it really a unique state. It gives us a lot of different fishing opportunities. Nice fish. Fish absolutely crushed it. Bowfin. <laughs> yeah, bowfin. It's a bowfin. What's up with that? How do you hold those things? Very carefully. They do have some big teeth, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's a bow fin right there. That is an ugly thing. First bow fin I ever caught. We've been getting a lot of a lot of phone calls the last couple of years from anglers um, at Fish and Wildlife. Um, you know about the bow fin. Uh, you know a lot of anglers mistaken you know mistake them for uh, for snakeheads. Sure. Uh, they look very similar. Um, but the snakehead does have a, uh, a real long anal fin, which the bow fin doesn't have. So, you know, and we always tell people that, uh, you know, if you are unsure about which, which species you are catching, um, definitely, you know, take a picture um, with technology the way that it is. It's really easy to take a picture with your cell phone and even just email it to us while you're out fishing. So, um, you know, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry than to release a, a snakehead back to the water. Um, but the bow fin is, it's a native fish, um, you know, and they are found throughout the state. Well, my first fish of the day was ugly. <laughs> I think that's the right kind there, Chris. That is the right species there. Largemouth bass fishing on the Salem Canal in New Jersey. I'm Blaine Mangle. Come on back and join me for some more of this. This is what we're after. Typical? Typical. Let's go get a few more. Good deal. Fought a little different than that bowfin. Coming up on Backwoods Angler TV. There's a, right. uh, there's a Lake Apacon bass. Lake Apacon largemouth bass. I told Chris you can't outfish the host, and so far he's outfishing the host. Whoa, doggy, that's a good fish. <laughs> that's what you get in New Jersey. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by BioEdge Fish Attractants. Fish with the edge, BioEdge. Gamma Molecularly Altered Fishing Line. River Pro Boats, custom built jet boats for the serious river fishermen. Finner Baits Custom Lures, quality, durability, affordability. Today on Backwoods Angler TV, we are bass fishing in New Jersey. Lake Hapatcong in northern New Jersey is a premier destination for bass fishing in the Garden State. Tournament and recreational anglers alike are drawn to its diverse habitats. New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife biologist Chris Smith and I hit Hapatcong in search of the wily largemouth bass. Uh, there's a Lake Apacon bass. Lake Apacon largemouth bass. I want a drop shot. Good fish, Chris. <laughs> I told I told Chris, you have to take it easy on the host here today. You can't outfish the host. And so far he's outfishing the host. So I got I've got to get moving here. <laughs> and then we got to this rock pile. Chris, I said that means a small mouse is about to come. And there's my large mouse right there. That's more my speed right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, woo! Now we're on a pattern. Two pounds yet? Now what, what is your, what's your title with New Jersey? the Division of Fish and Wildlife, what do you do? Well, I'm a regional fisheries biologist. I'm a principal fisheries biologist for the division. Uh, my region that I cover is down in the southern part of the state. Now, you're a regular here. What, what would you say, what's your favorite technique here? What's your most productive method here you know, on Lake Opatcom? I really like summer fishing. I, I really like flipping grass. Um, so, you know, I, I like the summer. Uh, however, you know, during the spring when the fish are shallow, um, you know, when they're up spawning, you know, pre-spawn, you can catch them on a jerk bait, um, you know, right against the bank. Um, after they're done spawning and they're, they're coming off the beds and they're still in those shallows, catch a lot of fish, you know, throwing little shaky worms and, and uh, weightless senkos. Uh, so that's fun too. Yeah, here in New Jersey, we have some excellent, excellent bass fisheries. We have a great diversity of habitat. Uh, you know, these bigger North Jersey lakes, 
uh, with a lot of grass in them are excellent, excellent summertime lakes to come flipping some, you know, some deep grass. Uh, down in our South Jersey ponds that are a lot shallower, uh, they provide great, you know, great fishing opportunities also. We have the Delaware River, um, the Upper Delaware uh, that's non-tidal in the tidal section. Um, other great fisheries, so, you know, it's, New Jersey definitely has uh, a little bit of everything. That's a toad there. That's a good fish. Wow, there you go. A little bit better. Yeah, yeah, that's a good fish. Nice one. My God. That one coming off with it. <laughs> Alright. That's a good fish. Oh, good fish. Now what's the what what's the bait fish? Uh, make up here. This lake has a lot of a lot of herring. Um, you'll actually see around in parts of the lake uh, a lot of floating barges uh, that they use for catching herring at night. Oh yeah. Um, that's what one of the things that actually makes this a really good hybrid striped bass lake ah. is, is the abundance of the forage. During the summer, we have a lot more water movement. Um, you know, the, those herring are going to be out a little bit deeper. Um, they slide up onto these edges of these grass flats and stuff. Will they be buried um, in them right now? Yeah, the, the fish right now, you know, with the sun level the way we have it, you can probably still get a couple of fish to come up on top, uh, but most of your fish, you know, are down in that grass. Um, so it's, you know, you get these isolated grass patches that are a little bit thicker than the rest of the grass bed. That seems to be what concentrates the fish. So All right. we'll, we'll, see if, we'll see if we can catch one. Let's have at it. Hey! You. I tell you what, those, those fish are, yeah. they're long and lean, nice but they fish. got some chunk to them. Yeah, they have some real nice chunk to them. You know, plenty of food for them to eat. Nice little, uh, nice little healthy lake of pack on bass. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook for daily fishing reports. Today on Backwoods Angler TV, we are bass fishing in New Jersey. That was a small bass right there. What we're doing, Chris is, Chris is flipping right now, flipping a creature, and I'm just skipping this dinger underneath these trees. That and when I get out into an open spot, I'm throwing a spinnerbait. Now I'm throwing this spinnerbait. What, what's a typical deal with these bass? Are they, will they chase it a lot of days or are they gonna be tight to this cover on the shore, on the bank? You know, it all, it all just depends on, on your light level. So far, the fish that we've caught have been holding uh, pretty tight to the cover, so. We'll see as things progress. That's a big fish spot too. Sometimes I think the only thing I can catch them on is a salty shit. <laughs> He's in there. He is in the thick stuff. Sometimes you have oh, to baby. dig him out. This is fish and cover, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This is going to any lengths. All that for, for a 13 incher, all right. <laughs> fish is a fish is a fish, right? Fish, keeper. Oh, that's a good fish, Chris. <laughs> Whoa, doggy, that's a good fish. <laughs> wow. That's a that's, Salem Canal bass there, huh? That's a big fish for the Salem Canal. Wow. <laughs> Very nice fish. Did he hit the beaver? He ate a beaver. Yep. Wow. Black and blue beaver. You just said. Right, right in the middle of that tree. You just said in this, in this thickest cover, yep. sometimes they'll just hang. Yep. Even on these cloudy that days. That is a fish right there. Yep. That's what you get in New Jersey. Nice five pound bass from the Sound Canal. That is a slob. Very, very cool. He had you down in the wood too initially. Yeah, he was right in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah. Flipping that, flipping that little beaver yeah. jig. 
Now that creature bait, what, what did they see that as a crayfish? Oh, absolutely. And yeah. was it a thump? He was a thump. It, it wasn't a real hard thump. Um, you know, it was, it, it was a pretty good solid thump, but it was a little mushy. Uh, he was definitely right on the bottom, in the bottom of the tree. Uh, sometimes when you're flipping the trees, you'll actually see your line jump. They'll, they'll be suspended in the trees and they'll hit it on the fall. That fish actually was down on the bottom, shook it a couple times at the bottom of the tree, then he picked it up. So, very well, nice fish. I'll tell you what, Chris, you got my attention. I have just switched to the jig as we speak. <laughs> We're seeing more and more of that size fish uh, all the time here uh, through angler reports and you know posting online. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's really getting to be some nice quality size fish in, in here. What do you think that's, what do you attribute that to? I think that probably it's a matter of fishing pressure. Um, probably, okay. is, you know, probably has thinned out the, uh, the population a little bit. I mean, we still have a, you know, excellent, excellent, you know, population. I mean, they're super abundant. Um, our catch per unit efforts uh, from our sampling here, electro fishing are real high. Um, you know, and, but we're seeing, we're seeing some bigger fish too. Here today with Chris Smith of the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife. I wasn't aware of, of all the opportunities you guys have over here for quality largemouth bass. You want to just talk to the viewers a sure. little bit about about what New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife is doing for for the bass fisheries over here. Yeah, we, Blaine, we have some excellent, excellent uh, bass fisheries in the state. Um, you know, I'm the regional fisheries biologist for South Jersey, so I handle um, that area of the state. So. Um, you know, I'm doing my part uh, down in the southern part of the state. Our biologists that handle the northern part, uh, you know, they're they're doing a lot of work up there yeah. too, uh, managing Lake Apacon. Um, you know, excellent, excellent fishery. Uh, down south, we have some really unique, uh, interesting things that going on. Uh, lake Audrey is one of our new lakes. Yes, I read about Lake Audrey. Um, it's a 120-acre sand pond uh, down in Cumberland County. We've been stocking it with smallmouth bass for three years now. People are catching up to six-pound bass. Now, you'd mentioned to me about that New Jersey has some trophy bass lakes right uh, you want to talk about them a little bit sure what what we do is we managed a, f a few of our lakes um, statewide we have a couple in South Jersey a couple in North Jersey and a couple central uh, we, we, we manage them as trophy trophy lakes uh, what this means is we have a 15 inch size limit mm -hmm. opposed to our normal 12 inch size limit and we also have a reduced creel limit down to three fish instead of our normal five the intention is to grow larger fish. Sure. Now, what is the state record smallmouth bass? State record smallmouth bass uh, currently is just over seven pounds. That was caught from Round Valley Reservoir. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I did read that. I but, did read that. But uh, I, I'm gonna guess that probably in the next couple of years, uh, I'm gonna guess the state record is gonna be caught from Lake Audrey. Now, the one thing that's unique wow. about Lake Audrey right now, though, it, it is catch and release only. Um, so all fish do have to be returned, largemouth and smallmouth. Um, but we'll probably end up changing the regulations. That's a good some, prediction somewhere right down there, the ladies and gentlemen, right it's, there. You heard it here first at Backwoods Angler TV. He made the prediction, Lake Audrey. Definitely. Get down there and check it out. <laughs> hey Blaine, how about we uh, fish this bridge for a little bit? This is a different twist on bass fishing right here, ladies and gentlemen. Skipping soft plastics under the bridge. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> this is too cool. Under the bridge, can't set the hook. On, uh, on hot days like this, I, I guess the fish like to be in the shade. I guess so. <laughs> not a bad fish, Chris. Not a bad fish, no, not at all. It's good fish for the Salem Canal. A couple pounds, two, two and a quarter maybe. Skinny? Yeah, a little thin. It is the middle of summer though. He has been caught before, probably released from a tournament. But, uh, it's nice fish. I 
That's a good one there. He had me, he had me wrapped around one of the pilots. Yeah. People think of New Jersey as being urban and metropolitan. We're in New Jersey here and look at this. And that's how you catch a fish on Salem Canal. <laughs> Chris, thanks, man. It was a pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. bringing us out here. Thank you. Go to BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. Do yourself a favor. Check out some more information on New Jersey bass fishing. There's a plethora of good bass fishing here, and it is hidden. There is not a, not a lot of people know about this place. I'm Blaine Mangle for Backwoods Angler TV. Good fishing. River fishing. <laughs> hey, you run into them here too, huh? On cue!